Hello and good afternoon. So today we're going to have a look at AMPS and how to install it. It's basically a WAMP man for the LAMP stack, which basically is a development environment where you can run a web server on your own computer. So if you type in AMPS, A-M-P-P-S, into Google, the first result that will come up is amps.com. So if you click onto that, it will take you straight through to the page. This is a preview of what AMPS looks like. And it basically comes um, with an Apache server, but also includes MySQL for databases, MongoDB also for databases, PHP, the development language, and Softaculous, which is an easy way, one-click way to install various pieces of software like WordPress, Joomla, and um, PHP Wiki, for example. So it works on Windows and Mac OS X. We're going to click on download and we're going to get the Windows version. Now it is going to ask you to sign up for updates for email and tweet about it, but you can just close that using the X in the top corner. So it's a DMG file for Mac OS, which we're not going to use today, but we've got an EXE file for Windows. We're going to click download on the Windows one. It's a relatively small download, 46.5 megabytes. So it shouldn't take too long to download. And the supported OSs for Windows are 11, 10, 7, 8, and Vista. So even operating systems that Microsoft aren't supporting anymore are supported by AMPS, although we do recommend that you upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11, which is free. So once it's downloaded, if you then click once on AMPS, you will get the user access control. And you need to click yes to this to allow it to make changes to computer. Obviously, because we're installing the file, it is going to need to make changes. And once you click yes, it will open up the installer. So we're currently on AMPS 4.3. So it will install AMPS 4.3 on the computer. I recommend you close other applications. Click next, continue or cancel to exit setup. So you just want to click on next. There's a license agreement here for you to read through which might take you a few hours. And once you've finished reading it, you need to check, I accept the agreement and click next. When you are ready to continue the setup, you can click next. So this is basically just an overview of AMP. So AMPS is a stack of Apache, PHP, MySQL, Perl, and Python. AMPS is a tool that makes it easier for anyone to create a new website using a template, an existing free open source application, customize it, and then publish it on the internet via a wide choice of hosting service providers. You can also install over 400 apps like, and these are all by, via Softaculous, by the way, so they are easier to install than downloading the packages from the websites, official websites, respectively. Um, WordPress, Joomla, Magento, SitePad, PressShop, SMF, Laravel, CodeIgnite, uh, Moodle, PHP, Gallery, Mantis, MediaWiki, SugarCRM, Dolphin, MyBB, Scroll Mail, VTiger, OS Ticket, Open Cart, and many more. So the shopping carts in their developer frameworks like Code Ignite, which is based on PHP, PHP BB, which is forum software, and MediaWiki, which runs wiki style websites. So there's a lot available within AMPS by default. When you click next, you have to select the destination you want to install. Default is C colon backslash program files AMPS. That's absolutely fine. You can click browse to change directory if you want to and it will take 120 megabytes of free disk space so we can click next on that setup program will create shortcuts in the start menu you can change the name of here why you would i am not sure but we'll put it in amps you can browse if you want to choose another location if for example you've set up an area for web development tools and then on finally on select additional tasks you can create a desktop shortcut create a quick launch icon, which will go down here on the right hand side of the taskbar and create a start menu icon, which will go in the start menu at the bo bottom of the window shape. Um, so we're happy with that, we'll click next. Then when it's ready to install, if you've configured all the options, it will summarize all the options that you've selected, see if you're happy. If you're not, you can click the back button. Once you are, you can press the install button and it will get along to installing amps. As part of AMPS, you will need the Visual C++ redistributable. So if that's not already installed, you will get this pop-up at the end. So you have to read the license agreement and agree to the terms and press install. And setup has failed. Another version of this product is already installed. Okay, so one of the things there is it's not detecting that we've already got a version of this installed. So kind of happy that it stopped there. If you get this, don't worry because the setup's failed because another version is already installed. So we can simply close that and AMPS will still work. And we will complete the setup now and leave launch amps tick. So it actually launches it after this and we press finish. And then within a short amount of time, we should have amps load up. 
And when AMP starts up for the first time, it's saying that the following apps will be installed. So PHP 7.4, the latest version, the latest version of Soft Plus, MySQL version 8.0.31, PHP AMI admin 5.2.0, and Apache version 2.4.54. So Apache is your web server, so the thing that serves your HTML files. Uh, PHP My Admin allows you to manage the database and the graphical user interface. MySQL is your de underlying database itself. Softaculous is the one-click installer for lots of software like Joomla and Magento, Cart and MediaWiki. PHP 7.4 enables you to run PHP scripts on your server based on your computer. So if we click Continue, what it will do is it will download each of these packages in turn now. And once it's downloaded, it will install them into your AMPS setup. Softaculous, if my memory serves me correctly, is the one that will take the longest to download because it is the largest file. And whilst that's downloading, so we can see PHP is fully installed now, Softaculous will now be unzipped and then installed, followed by MySQL, then PHP MyAdmin, and then Apache. And once this is finished, the AMPS control panel will finish loading up and will start all these as separate services where we'll be able to see the status of in a second so that you can check these are running. Because, for example, if PHP isn't running, then your PHP scripts will just be served as plain text. They won't actually execute the code as they're supposed to. Equally, if Softaculous hasn't started and has failed, then what will happen is you won't be able to use the one-click installer. So we'll be able to check on the service status in the AMPS control panel as soon as the download has finished. And we might have underestimated the size of MySQL there, because I actually think MySQL is going to turn out to be the bigger download of them all. So MySQL is providing you database functionality. It allows you to create databases independently of each other. Inside each database, you're able to set usernames and passwords for each user that you need to access the database, including background users where codes such as your PHP code will access the database. You'll be able to set up tables and table schema, so different tables, so different data. Within those tables, you'll then be able to configure your fields, your key fields, like your IDs. So, for example, in the user table, you might have a user ID as a key field, and then as other fields on there, you'll be able to configure things like email addresses, hashed passwords, contact preferences, etc., and basically design your database tables in MySQL using PHP MyAdmin, which prevents you from having to use and um, SQL, which is the programming language behind databases, to manually do it from the command line. You can use PHP MyAdmin to make the process a lot easier using a graphical user interface. And finally, Apache. Without Apache, you won't have a web server to run and it won't serve any files at all. So out of them all, that is absolutely critical that you allow it to install Apache. All these others are nice to have. Uh, but we would recommend PHP MyAdmin if you're going to use MySQL databases, Softaculous, just for the ease of testing and install of software. And once that's finished, it will start to uh, boot up the control panel. Now, Windows Defender is popping up saying MySQL D wants to access public networks uh, by default. So we should. Um, just leave these settings as default. They have been configured by AMPS because if you deny it, it can mean that your local web server doesn't perform as expected. And the same for Apache, which is your actual HTTP server. We're going to allow access there on public networks as it has requested. And as you can see now, we have Apache that started up in AMPS in the control panel, which always stays to the bottom right of your screen. MySQL is on and it's running successfully. PHP 7.4 is running successfully. And that's it. AMPS is now working and loaded on your computer. If you click on this localhost button, it will then open up the root directory of your web server. So you can see that it's working. You can click on PHP info, which is basically just printing out the info relating to your PHP environment. But the fact that this loads up, because it is coded in PHP, as you can see by the .php extension, actually shows that AMPS is working successfully, the, web, the Apache is working successfully to serve you the page, and also PHP is working successfully um, because it's loaded up this info. So that's it. That's AMPS installed and configured for you for you to start developing on. I hope you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech-related videos. We shall see you shortly. Bye.